I'm not a guy here all the time. I'm leaving the train station in Torre Molino. I haven't been here in a while. So I just took the train from Malaga and I'm gonna explore Torre Molino. So come on with me. Vietnamese food. Lolita. Wow, look at all this construction here. A ton of construction here behind me. Looks like it's gonna prevent me from exploring the plaza here. This I don't remember. Lolita restaurant. Vietnamese. I think this is new. Wow, I like Vietnamese food. Check that out. Wow. It might be good. It's some Vietnamese food. Beautiful day. It's October and it's sunny. It's almost like summertime. Wow, it's so good. I have to get my bearings now. I've not been to the train station in Torre Molinos in quite a long time. If I remember correctly, there's like a stairway that goes down here and you take it down toward the, toward the beach. It's just really nice. Really nice stairway. Ah, okay, so this is all blocked off. They're redoing this whole plaza. Wow, look at this behind me. This is where they have the fountain. Okay, now this looks familiar, okay. So this is normally one big plaza here. It used to be. So they're redoing the whole thing. Looks quite different than it did before then, obviously. The big Burger King here, home of the Whopper. Plaza de la Nogalera. That's what it says there. Now, Torre Molinos is known as one of the, the cheaper options normally along the, the coast to go to. So it's quite a bit cheaper than Ben Amadena normally. And I think Fuenarola as well. I don't remember this place, Sherlock Holmes. Did this change hands here? I'm guessing that some of these places might have changed hands during the, during the quarantine, it's very possible. There's a Sherlock Holmes bar in Malaga. So I don't know if that's new or what. Or if that's been here before. Ah, you can go this way. Okay, I think this is the way to the beach, if I remember. You go down here and you have a lot of shopping in Torre Molinos. So we can go check that out. So, luckily we're in the south of Spain. We're not in Madrid. I hear Madrid, they're having a lot of lockdowns. They were trying to lock the whole city down. Like they did originally so a lot of the areas were are, i guess they were trying to quarantine like the different uh, barrios the different neighborhoods where you had to stay in your own neighborhood that's my understanding and you can't even go outside of your own neighborhood but i was watching the news today and there was some kind of court uh, action with that i think they appealed it to the to the court and i believe it was overruled that's my understanding i didn't hear the whole news story but it was breaking news that's breaking news so Maybe it's something, uh, well, this video is probably going to come out in a few days, so you'll probably already know about it by then. Now, I wanted to go this way because if I remember, yeah, there it is. There's some kind of nice statue up here. I wanted to show you that. Very, very pretty statue. And then we're going to go down toward the beach. And they have quite a nice beach here as well in Torre Molinos. Now, when I usually come to Torre Molinos, I usually come on the bus because the, the bus takes you all along the coast. So we're kind of a little bit up from the beach now. You have to kind of go down. So you get a really nice view though. I wanted to take the train today because I wanted to show you the beautiful view. When we get close to the beach, you'll see it. And then you have to go down and there is a big, beautiful beach in Torre Molinos. So here's that statue. Looks like they're doing some work on that as well.
called uh, the Monument to Europe. I remember that before. And there used to be a restaurant that we went to when my family was here and the guy was really, really nice guy. And he was a really amazing cook too. And he lived in South America for a while. We had a really good talk and his son, we talked to his son and I think they were from, see, what country were they from? They were from one of these small countries. One of these small rich countries in Europe. Like Luxembourg or something like that. I don't remember exactly. They had this restaurant and they made us a fantastic like buffet style uh, dinner. It wasn't even a buffet, what could I call it? He just kept bringing us out different plates, so it was so, so nice. But the last time I think I was here, I checked and I don't think he was around anymore. I think the place changed hands. Yeah, that's it in the corner. So it's some kind of takeaway restaurant now. I don't think it's the same anymore, fortunately. And the guy was a super nice guy too. It's Katari now, I don't think it's the same. No, in an ice cream shop so it changed hands for sure so going toward the beach let's go that way San Miguel Torre Molina says 40 years here they've been making dreams happy children I like that ice cream hola hola buenas 40 años aquí ah ok muy bien yo tengo canal de youtube y tu eres la propietaria ah ok yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. Look at that. That looks very good behind me. And the woman here is the the owner. She's talking to her. Merengue, you know? Merengue. It's called Boca Dia de Merengue, you know? Se llama Boca de Merengue. Boca de Merengue. It's like a lemon meringue sandwich, or just, but just a meringue. Muy bonito. Gracias. Very nice ice cream here. Maybe I have to come and get one later. Y este direction es la playa, no? Okay, muchas gracias. So she said this way is the beach. Very, very good. I didn't know that place has been there 40 years. Wow, that's fantastic. There's another place you can get the sandwiches. So not expensive prices there, not expensive. Money exchange here. Wow, it's not very busy now. I'm just used to the summertime where it was all full of people. I remember the last time I was here with my family, wow, these streets were just full, full of people. Look at these uh, places are closed right now. Even some of the some of the shops are, are closed down. So it must be from lack of the tourists. And I have been noticing online when I'm going to certain places or looking for them, it says temporarily closed. So maybe the end of the season now, some of these people just decided to close down. It's easier to do that than to stay open and to pay the electric bill and to pay the employees. Wow, what a shame. What a shame. This Bodega de Rola. I think that was a very Spanish looking bar when I was in there. I poked my head in there last time. Looks like a very, very cool little place. There's a lot of people here maybe having a drink. I remember this was a hotel over here, a large hotel. I think there's even a larger one here. It's not that one. Quite a few hotels in Torre Molinos as well. And <laughs> we're on the property. Whoa. Hola. Usually they don't, uh, those golden retrievers are usually pretty friendly like that. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't like English. This hotel here, I think, is a pretty large hotel, if I remember. I don't know what the name of it is. Mm -hmm. 
Get your fresh fruit right here. Tech shop as well. So you have a little of everything. Bizarre Europe. I thought this was a hotel here. I guess it is. What is that? I see a sign that says men's bar. Downstairs. It almost looks like a... Ah, okay. I think that means a gay bar. I believe that, that that's what that is. That's what it looks like to me, the sign. So I don't know about that. Aqua. I see aqua here. Well, I thought there was a large hotel. Maybe just around here. Maybe we went further that way. But uh, I don't know Tori Molinos super well either. I know Malaga much better, even though it's quite close. And if I do go somewhere, I like to go to Benamadena a lot. I enjoy going there. It's probably one of my favorite places along the coast to go to for a day trip. But this is quite nice also, Torre Molinos. I love this staircase. Cannot wait to go down that staircase. So nice. And it'll be interesting to see because there's always a lot of tourist shops there, normally. But now, will they be open? That's the question. So not so busy. It's not quite too busy today. So pretty quiet here now. Pretty quiet. Tour season is over. And like I said, Spain was hit pretty hard this year. We did have quite a few tourists in Malaga. And for a while there was quite a few tourists when I did travel in the summertime. Okay, I think this is where the, the stairs start here, if I remember. Yeah, I think you go down here for the stairs. And there was a couple of places I know you can go to. They have a fantastic, fantastic view. This place has a terraza, beautiful terraza. I don't know what's up here. And we'll go up this way and take a look and then I'll go back down to there. I might stop there before because I actually been there with my family and it was a beautiful, beautiful view. I remember that. So maybe we'll stop there and get a beer. Here's a little uh, church here, Rokia. And we'll stick our head in here and see what this is. We got a small little Spanish church. Parroquia de San Miguel. So quite nice there. Sorry, it was a little dark in there, maybe. Boss Town Bar. Got the lion on them there. Shisha and cocktail. I'm not so much of a fan of that shisha. The thing they smoke. Those kind of bars. So I thought they was. I think it's a hookah they smoke, right? They call it shisha bar, or, or I'm not sure what the difference is, really. I thought they were smoking drugs at first when I saw that thing. I thought, I was like, what are they doing? They're smoking marijuana in that thing? Maybe they do put it in there, but I think it's just flavored tobacco is what I, what I was told when I asked. Because I asked the guy, what are you smoking in that thing? I was like, oh my God, what are you guys smoking there? Okay, I don't see too much here, so we're going to go back down the other way. Just a small plaza here. Pizza d'Italia, what is this? Italian restaurant here, obviously. Pizza e pasta d'Italia. So pizza and pasta from Italy. Might be good. I always love Italian pizza and pasta. You can't go wrong with that. Okay, so here we go. We start to go down here. I think this winds around if I remember. And this one has, oh, this one had a fantastic terrace. I remember that. So I have to stop here, maybe get a, get a beer. So those are those stairs I was telling you about. They're quite nice and it kind of winds around here. Goes all the way down to the beach. Hola. Kitty cat. And this is that place with that beautiful terraza, if I remember. Wow. Hola. Hola. 
Tá só aberta? Não. Ok, it's actually closed right now because they do that during the day. Uh, he's gonna be opening for dinner, he said at 7, but the man was nice enough to let me come over here and to to show you the, the view. So the view's fantastic. I'm gonna show you the view from up here in this restaurant. And qual é o nome deste de este restaurant? La Tierra Restaurante. La Tierra, ah, perfecto. E está a mesma que antes ou cambiado? Cambiou há um ano e meio. Ah, por isso. Ah, ok. Podia ser diferente. Ok. He told me the place uh, changed here. So maybe there's a different owner now, that's why. When I knew it before, it was something else, I think. So it's called uh, La Tierra. Very, very nice. So here's the beautiful view behind me. Wow, look at that, it looks fantastic. So the sea looks very, very calm today. The Mediterranean Sea behind me, that looks fantastic. So can't wait to go down there and uh, take a look. Looks very good and you can see this view is fantastic here. And if I remember this place, I don't know, it's kind of new now, but it was very, very cheap before. I mean, to have a beer was like a couple of euros and it was a good sized beer. So this is a great place to come and get a beautiful view of Torre Molino. This is the restaurant here. The man is the owner. I was uh, just talking to him. He was telling me about what they have now. So it's completely different. It's completely changed, but uh, he said the food is very good. They have uh, cariada here, which is the, uh, the pig pork cheek. And they have like uh, ribs here, or they have the, yeah, they have the ribs, he said, uh, and, and like a Caesar salad, it's really good. So maybe this will be a place to come and check out if you're in Torre Molinos. So down the stairs, looks like another place closed. Guys, there, I think they're speaking Arabic. That's what it sounded like to me. It's common in this part of Spain. You hear a lot of Arabic speakers because they come from Morocco. And you have some of the some of the vendors as well. Let me go this way because I have to be careful with these stairs. There's a lot of them. As I talk to you guys, it's hard to look at the camera while I'm walking. There's a little souvenir shop. I remember this place. I think we bought something here, maybe. And these stairs just continue for a while. They're quite cool. And then takes you down to the beach, if I remember. They can go two ways here now. Okay, this is Playa de Bajondillo. And Barrio also. And then you have Something you can go this way. It says Plaza de los Tajillos. I think we went this way one other time, but there wasn't much down there. I wanted to show you Torre Molino, so we're gonna go this way first. Why not? Even if there is nothing. Quite a few stairs. It's always easier going down than up. Pretty flowers. Oh, this actually looks quite, quite pretty, this row of houses here. So maybe it was worth walking down here. It looks like this very nice, uh, pretty row of little houses here. So we'll take a look at these. Okay, so this is Plaza de los Tajillos. It's a nice little plaza here. Looks like you can go down further to the beach. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go back down the other way. So on the way down, you got this little part here, looks like a cave behind me. I'm gonna have to get down to the beach to show it to you guys. I had another battery that I was gonna switch to and unfortunately it doesn't look like it has any power. So this battery is kind of low. So if this thing, if this video ends abruptly, I apologize for that. Could be my battery. So I'm gonna try, down, try to get down to the beach now and show you that before I run out of battery. The hazards of being a YouTuber, vlogger. This place, I think I bought some items here. My family now. Please. Hat's really cheap, three euros, 350 for a hat. And five, quite good prices. 
Prices are way down, I guess, without any tourists. Everything here for two euros. Kodo, everything, two euros. Okay, here's the sign. That woman working there, I asked her where the beach was and she said everywhere around you, so. Okay, there was two ways to go, I guess we'll go either way. Boy, a lot of construction here, a lot of construction going on. This place for sale behind me. This guy's doing some construction here. Hola, buenas. Hola. <laughs> Wanna start it? Not sure what they're doing there, but. Men working. Oh, it's a hot day. What a hot day. So, yes, ah, I remember this place, the ship. They had a sign there before it said, beer is cheaper than, than gas. So drink beer. <laughs> Something like that. So I have these leather jackets, they come from Morocco and they bring them here to Malaga and you can get them quite quite cheap and you get a quite nice deal. If you're looking for some leather jackets, that's this is a good place to pick one up sometimes. Very, very good price a lot of times. If you went to Morocco it would be even cheaper, but pretty good price here, south of Spain. The mask on my friend there on the cow. Wow, a ton of construction going on around here. That was happening in Fuenjarola when I was there as well. A lot of places shut down and a lot of construction going on. So that seems to be the theme of what's happening. Look at this place next to me. That's quite a neat looking building, I like that. So you got these uh, glass. Okay, that's to cover the staircases, I guess, stairwells. Guadalupe y Beatriz Cozy Inns, B&B Apartments. Okay, here we are, we're close to the beach now. More souvenir shops here. Let's go to the beach, where I still have some battery. Peligro, Calle Dangerous. I think maybe it was dangerous with all that work going on there. Maybe they named it right. Oh, here we are, we're at the beach. Awesome. Torre Molinos. Look at this, fantastic. Wow, it's so quiet here. I didn't expect this, it's so quiet. Hardly anyone, wow. This thing is really keeping people away. Even this time of year, normally there'd be a lot more people. So there's the beach. Not too many people out there. Couple people there, I see. And that's it. Nice warm day. Okay, so this is the Playa del Bajandio, Bajandio Beach. So let's take a walk out here on the beach. Well, I still have some battery and show you that. Wow, beautiful day too. And not too many, not too many people and not too wavy. Oh, that water is so calm and nice behind me. Look at that, that's fantastic. Here is uh, Melia. I think I've heard of this place before. So we're out in front of this hotel called Melia. Probably some people they've been to Torre Molinos. Maybe you stayed in this hotel there. No, I've heard of that one. And then you've got that one there with the with all the glass that I liked. Looks like a glass elevator there.
Now that's a nice big uh, cabana. Look at this. Wow, I like that. Nice shade here. Very shady here. Very, very cool. Giant cabana here. I didn't know about that. For cabana. Here's a brave soul going out. There's one man venturing out into the water. There's a plane going overhead. Let's take a look at this. So that's a report from Tori Molinos in October. That's the situation here. Things are very, very calm and quiet. Not too many tourists around, a lot of places closed. So that's what I'm seeing today. They have this little mini golf course here. I remember this. Uh, we did this with my son. We played this. I remember this. This is quite fun. Nice little mini golf course as well. Tori Molinos. Looks like some good offers right now. Wow, I saw some good prices on everything. That place I just uh, went by there, they had coffee for one euro. So that's quite cheap. Normally, like a, a euro fifty for a. Cafe Con Leche, it's still pretty pretty cheap normally, but they had it for one euro right now. It said fall special. So some quite some good deals right now. If you're able to make it to Tori Molinos. The all blacks Irish Irish pub here, all blacks. All blacks is they were a champion rugby team if I remember from I wanna say New Zealand, the All Blacks. Interesting name. Happy hour. Two for one per person. Wow, that's a pretty good deal. Like I said, some good deals right now. So I had a nice little time here in Torre Molinos. Wow, I had a stuff at that uh, bar, that All Blacks, and I had a conversation with a couple here that they live in Calahonda, and it's close to Marbella, they told me. They have like a villa here. So it sounded really, really nice. They were really nice people. They were uh, from from London, I think, some from Britain somewhere, but they were a really, really nice couple, and actually we might meet them sometime. I invited them if they come to Malaga to, to visit me, so. Very, very cool day. Look at this background behind me. Wow, it's so awesome. Look at that. So glad to show you some of Tori Molinos today. Wow. Just loving that. Hope you're enjoying it like I do. So hope you're doing well where you are. See you in the next video, everyone. Look at this. Look at this around me. Wow, just love this beauty. Hope everyone's doing great. We'll see you in the next video. Travel addict guy. Take care, everyone.